Here's a shameless but effective idea for a news headline. Selena Gomez, madly in love, gets pregnant by Justin Bieber, who coldly rejects their unborn baby, and she, devastated, loses the embryo in a tragic miscarriage. All right, this headline makes me want to vomit, but In Touch Magazine has published it as their cover story in their latest publication. According to them, an unnamed source close to Selena admits that in 2012, she got pregnant and miscarried Justin's baby. This alleged source goes on to explain that Selena was convinced it was meant to be and that it was a sign that she and Justin should be together forever. But Justin wasn't excited about it because he thought it would take away from his reputation as a heartthrob if he were walking around with a baby carrier at 18. Supposedly, his reaction crushed her. Then two months later, into her pregnancy, she miscarried anyway, and nothing has been the same in Selena's life ever since. Okay, so this is why the story sucks. If it's true, it is incredibly personal and private and should not be exploited for magazine sales. And if it's false, it's the lowest form of cheap headlines and it's definitely taking this obsession with Jelena one step too far. Selena is trying to rebuild her career without her personal life upstaging her professional accomplishments. Yes, it's been a very nasty public breakup and it seems like they've hooked up and then broken up a myriad of times, but this whole miscarriage rumor seems like just that, a ploy to get people to buy more magazines. Chances are, if it were true and someone close to her was going to leak this very juicy piece of information, they would have leaked it years ago. And secondly, who the heck in their right mind would leak such a thing? I don't think it's true at all. I think they broke up for completely different reasons. But what say you about this rumor? True, false, none of our business? Let me know below or shoot me a tweet. I'm your host, Miriam Issa, and that's also my Twitter handle. And on a happier note, because Lord knows we need it after this one, you need to see the two young boys that made Simon Cowell nearly cry on the show, Britain's Got Talent. So click right over here for that. And for your daily news dose, subscribe to Clever News.